What's poppin' people, it's Dante. Today I'm thinking about wabi-sabi photography. So wabi-sabi being a Japanese aesthetic that embraces imperfection and the transient nature of things, right? The fleeting nature of life where we embrace the imperfection. And honestly, the idea basically is that imperfection is perfection, right? We wanna embrace the organic nature of creating images in general, where we already know too much about how to make a clinically sharp photo. We already know too much about camera settings, etc. And so a technical way to do this is set your camera to P mode, macro mode, and embrace the details all around you, whether it's the worn and weathered leaf on the ground in a puddle or the textures and markings that are on the walls and the signage around you. There's a human presence to these things where I want to make a photo of this can that this uh, light needs to change. Where there's a human presence to these things that are all around us and embracing them and uplifting them through the power of photography can allow us to achieve more and to photograph more where your mind is open to the infinite possibilities within the mundane. And I believe that's the name of the game when it comes to street photography. So perhaps the Wabi Sabi aesthetic is worthwhile exploring where everything around us that is worn and torn and perhaps overlooked become infinitely beautiful. Looking at this sign here, you know, you can see the sort of faded entrance text there that's missing. And yeah, I think that uh, going forward, embracing Wabi Sabi is a good idea. High contrast black and white with the small JPEG files on the Rico. Crank to the max with the contrast. Seems to be a great technical way to embrace this. Uh, macro mode is amazing on the Ricoh GR3 specifically. And it allows you to get really close to these textures and things on the walls. So, simple message today. Imperfection is perfection.